What's up, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more aha uh -huh, as we continue our journey through their 1990 album, East of the Sun, West of the Moon. Uh, so yeah, we're up to the next tune in the album, which is called Sycamore Leaves. Um, sycamore, obviously a type of tree. Um, you know, I don't know, I'm not uh, conscious uh, or aware of any sort of, you know, mythological or literary references that immediately spring to mind specifically of sycamore trees. Um, perhaps sycamore leaves, you know, is representative of a certain area and perhaps, you know, this could relate to sort of the, the tonal feeling or atmosphere um, that someone experiences when seeing sycamore leaves falling, say. Um, bottom line, there's a number of different ways I could see it being relevant, even if it's just like part of the visual setting and then it's about much larger or more like um, directly human themes. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure exactly how it uh, will come into play and ultimately, you know, whether it will be more of a sort of incidental metaphor or expressive, you know, throughout the song in terms of the, the figurative connection. Um, but yeah, without uh, much more to go on, I'm not sure um, if this is a title I can um, speculate about too much, so let's get right to it. This is Aha uh -huh, Sycamore Leaves uh, from their 1990 album East of the Sun, West of the Moon. <laughs> Okay. I feel like we come to make some noise, we come to rock. I don't see like the heavier end of the Beatles catalog or something like come together. Never make it 
I can never see. I hear you, guitar. I'm trying to catch the lyrics, but I heard that flourish. Finally, like, was ready for that rollover in the dead pause. Took me a couple, a couple times to catch the rhythm. Very different from the scoundrel days or something high and low, but I feel like some of these background sonics are like haunting the track. Like high kind of harpsichordy sounds, but like the mix, there's a lot going on in it if you like really focus on it. Like tension. And this, that track is still doing a lot of interesting things as they're fading out there. Um, yeah, so again, like, I, you know, there was imagery of trees, sycamore leaves falling from the trees, and um, it seemed like there were a lot of things going on there, but I'm not exactly sure whether it was more setting a scene or if it was like a larger metaphor. Um, so let me know if you got an angle on that. Uh, but I dig it. Again, that like parts of the like, you know, sort of rock sound, it felt like this sort of rock engine that was, you know, only going in maybe like third gear. It could have pushed it harder and heavier if it wanted, but it only needed to go to that like, again, maybe third gear. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It definitely had a, um, a sort of rock heavier sound, which as I, you know, got through the first couple of tracks of the album, I was like, oh, you know, it doesn't quite sound as rocky as I suspected, um, given what people had said. But the last uh, few tracks have definitely pushed more in that direction as my cat attacks her own tail on my lap. Uh, but yeah, bottom line, um, another cool tune moving into the, you know, the latter half of the album now. So um, do let me know what you think of that one. Other than that, I will see you next time. Cheers. Oof.